Do you remember those 2D platform games from the Amiga and Commodore eras that have this distinctive style to them. You know, games like Super Frog, where you have random characterless stock things to control running around characterless stock levels with characterless stock music, while random characterless stock game things are dotted absolutely bloody everywhere for you to collect or attack that just ends up making every level blend into the exact same characterless stock affair? That is Putty Squad in a nutshell, the sequel to a game from the Amiga in 1992 that didn't see an official retail release until the PS4 in 2013, and once you've played for longer than five minutes, you're completely understand why this clonky computer system style of side-scroller died off all those years ago and why the game never officially released all that time ago and got lost in the gaming void of Fez 2. This shouldn't be a PS4 game at all. If you saw a screenshot of this game you'd never even consider it being a 2013 next-gen game but it is and my god it's irritating. That's the key word with Putty Squad, it's irritation incarnate. Not unplayably broken but annoying and boring to the point where you don't want to play it for any longer than two or three stages. Conventional stream satisfying side-scrolling level design traits are abolished in favour of just random shit placed all over the damn place like a maze, the levels of which are more random and convoluted than the last to the point that it feels like a five-year-old developed a custom Smash Brothers stage, which not only makes progression a chore, but any acquisition of power-ups or collectibles the total opposite of satisfying because you don't engage with the levels with them. You just grab things, enemies happen after that sometimes, other times they don't and leave you with easy platforming because of how overpowered your gooey stretchy moveset is. It's just a mess, and even worse is how despite being a grotesque blob of sick, you don't actually feel any kind of physical reaction from what you do and how you interact with levels, making them feel even more flat than they already were. All the attacks just don't register. That happens all the time. I don't know why this wasn't released at the time it should have done, I don't know who thought it was a great idea to remake it for an official release nearly 20 years later, and I don't know who actually cared enough to see the story of the original Putty be fully filled out with something that looks like this on the PS4. Even if I were a fan of Putty, I'd be a little bit pissed off about this. <laughs> Do you feel like you need to wash your brain out after seeing some truly awful video games? Well then how about go to the description below to chrono.gg forward slash caddy where you can get a really good Steam game on the site every single day for a ridiculously cheap price. Be quick though, the offer only lasts a day and then it will change tomorrow.